Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where we're playing old games in the uh, order they came out in, and today we're playing Wizards and Warriors for the NES, which came out in 1987. Um, this is a game I remember playing at a friend's house as a kid, so I had some experience with it. And we can see in the front of the box, we got a uh, fabulous warrior with a flowing lock of hair fighting a horde of bad guys. Uh, back of the box, the journey of Kuros continues. Apparently, uh, we missed a game. You are Kuros, the night warrior, hero of the books of Excalibur. Your journey begins within the deep woods of Elrond, where even the wind obeys the supreme wizard Malachi. A wizard so great, Merlin calls him teacher, but Malachi has strayed from the path and is now on the par and is now part of the dark side. Buried within the catacombs and dungeons of Elrond lies the key to your quest, the powers of levitation, the cloak of darkness, and a mysterious portions only Kuros can drink will be revealed to you. In caverns and fire of fire through demons that fly and crawl against the soldiers of the undead, you must continue. No sorcery can prevail, for you are the only knight with the strength to wield the bright sword. The prisoner of the wizard awaits. She calls you from the castle Iron Spire, but the wizard is watching you, warrior, and the tale has just begun. Okay, so we got some. So uh, not a lot, but the, this is the second game that Rare made for the NES after the game Slalom, which we already played, um, and this is one of the eight games that Nintendo had novelized into a book series called The Worlds of Power. So you can pick that up and read a book. So let's let's get the game going. Okay, press start to play. The map. Yeah, this game is a little funky with your sword, the way he just kind of shoves it, just kind of pokes it around randomly, seemingly. And he, he likes to hop. Yeah, I killed this stupid bird. Yeah, so this is not your typical like side scroller. Like you have to do a lot of platform jumping from tree to tree. And I don't apparently can't get into that. Oh, there's meat. I need the meat. I don't know if that healed me or not, but okay. There's the pink key. Oh, rats. Fell all the way back down. I gotta remember how to get back up there. Nice that the potions come back, though. Do they make me jump higher? Is that how I got up there? Leave me alone, bird. Wasp. Everything, leave me alone. Yeah, there's the pink key. So now we get this pink treasure. I don't know what a pink treasure is, but... Oh, I died. <laughs> I like his leg dangling there off the side. Okay. Thou hast discovered... I missed that. Gems? Okay, now I'm in a tree. Another treasure. Thou hast discovered gems. Thoweth. Now I'm inside Thoweth tree. I don't know what that is, but it seems like something we should probably have. Okay, or not. Bounce the game. Uh, I think there were a couple sequels to this too. One of which had Fabio on the cover, which I'm sure we'll get to as we play these in order. And does this tree just go on forever? Oh, oh, there's a door. So now we're up here. For reasons which shall become clear. Oh. 
He won't let me in unless I have a hundred gems. Is that the dagger of throwing. Okay. And I'm falling all the way back down. We have an evil meter. So apparently I need more gems. Can't get in there. There's a red key. Oh, no, I got in there. Yay, more gems. I only need five more to get whatever it is that red dude had. No, I don't want to go go back in. Kuros, you crazy guy. dead. Wizard needs food. Why can't I get out of the door? Oh, that was weird. No, I don't want to go in. I'm trying to get over. No, stop it. Listen. Listen, bub. <laughs> How can I get over there if you keep going in the door? There we go. Boots of force. This is a little rpg -y, I think. Okay, but I have enough, so now I have to climb this stupid tree again. And I have Boots of Force, which do something for me, I guess. Kuros was no more. Okay, keep going, keep going. I like how the wizard is apparently the bad guy, but he gets first billing on the name of the game. It'd be called Warriors and Wizards, or Warriors versus Wizard. There you go. That's probably more accurate. Jumpy, jumpy clown game. Okay, I just gotta be careful and not fall all the way back down so I can get whatever. Oh, there we go. Oh yay, another tree. I'm gonna fall all the way down. Yay! Oop. Okay. Wee! Oh, Plinko! I fell into a Plinko game. Ward, Wand of Wonder. I don't know what any of this means. Do I have like an inventory? Or I'm dead. Oh, well, I can continue from where I left off. That's cool. Okay, so if I hit select, apparently I shoot pink balls of fury. Oh, yeah, you can't jump on those. Need to make it all the way over there. I can jump on the shell though, maybe. No? How do I do that? I need to get up there. How do I do it? Come on, boots of force, do your work. There we go. Oh no! I screwed it up in the end. Man, platforming's hard. Ugh. Oh, boss fight. Dead. Well, at least they start me back here. Come on. What's going on? That was weird. Yay, I saved the damsel in distress. 
thou hath res rescued Lucinda, the distressed damsel. Okay, so it's just more of this, except we're not in trees anymore. We're in caves. Okay, well that's enough of that. So let's rate this game. Wizards and Warriors graphics. Uh, we're going to give it a uh, three and a half sound. Uh, how about a four music? Uh, four uh, story. We'll give that a uh, three and a half. Controls. Um... 3 or 5, 3.5 is a little hard to jump around. Funness, uh, 3, oops, not a 32, 3 and a half. Does it hold my attention? A 4, uh, mostly for nostalgia reasons. Overall, we're going to give Wizards and Warriors a 3.75. Let's make that a 4. We're going to give Wizards and Warriors a 4. That's it. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.